This video is all about migrating a database from one server to another. So what we have here is the Edumedia server. I've created a, a database, just a sample database here on Edumedia. ABCD0001. That is the name of the database that I have. In it, we've got those three tables that we've been working with, users, user types, and appointments. What I want to do is I want to take this database and install it on my local host version of PHP MyAdmin. Here it is right here, my local host. And in this list, I do not have a database called ABCD0001. So I want to move it from Edumedia over to my own computer. So on my local host, I want to have a copy of this. So we start by going to the database itself. I'm not inside of one of these tables. You can see at the top here, it says localhost database. There's no table name here. I'm right at the root of the database. So I click on the export tab. There's the list of my tables. I make sure all of them are selected. We've got a structure section and a data section. I want to make sure that everything is checked off here, or the structure thing is checked off, the data thing is checked off. I'm going to add drop table here. That way, if there is a copy of one of these tables, already on my local version, it will delete that table before it adds the new copy or the copy of the table. Down near the bottom, what we're looking at is checking off this box. It says save as file. The underscore underscore db underscore underscore means it will save this file as abcd0001. So the name of my database dot sql. That will be the name of it. All right, and we scroll down here, just off the bottom of the page here, this window, I can click a go button. Now that's going to prompt me and say, okay, what do you want to save? Here's a previous copy that I had, so I'm going to save it as the same name. Place it, yes. Okay, so I have my file saved. Here it is in WordPad. If I take a look at the file, expand it a little bit here to take a look. You can see there's a whole bunch of comments in here. This is the name of the database in comments. Drop table appointments, create table appointments. And then below that, insert into appointments. Here's all the data from that table. Then we've got the user table, drop and create it, all the columns, insert into users. So there's all the data from the user table. And at the very end, the user type table. Drop it, create it, dump the data into it. So that is my SQL file. That's all that I have to do on the Edumedia server. I now have a copy of these three tables and all the data that's inside them. I don't have the database itself, but I have all the stuff that's inside that database. So I'll jump over to localhost where I don't have this yet. Now I can just create the database right here on the home page. I could type in ABCD0001, create it, I'll have that database, but I still have to create a username and password. I need a user that's able to access this database. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to go to the Privileges tab. Up at the top here, you'll see there's Privileges. If I go to that, here's a list of users that I've got on my local host. We're going to create a brand new user. So I'll click on this link down here, add a new user. The name, I'm going to make it ABCD0001. Host, I want it to be localhost. Password, I'll pick a password, type it in. There it is. Now, the second box right here, database for user, I'm going to check the middle thing here. Create a database with the same name and grant all privileges. So in one screen, I am creating the user and I'm creating a database with the same name as this user. That's what we want to do here. So then we will have the database and we will do our import. All right, so down at the very bottom, it's just off the screen. If I scroll this up a little bit, this, there we go. There's the go button. So I've created the information. I've checked off, create the database. I'll click go. There we go. I've added a new user, and if you look over on the left-hand side here, there is the database. I'm going to click on that. Here we are. We have a database. 
we've got a user who can access this database, and now that we have the database, we can import that data so we have a local copy. I'll click Import, choose the file, there's the ABCD file, abcd001.sql, that is our file. I'll click the Go button, and there we are. There are all three tables right here, and I can click on those. There's users, there's user types, there's appointments. So we have all this information in there already. And because we created the user first, and we gave all permissions to the user for this database, it means that when I write my PHP commands for my PDO and my MySQLi commands, and I want to connect to the database, I have the user, I have the password, I have the database name, and I can use localhost as the host name, and I will be connected. And that's all there is to it. That's how you can migrate from the Edge Media server over to your own local database.